Welcome. Today we're talking about rectangles. First, what is a rectangle? Really, a rectangle is just a parallelogram with right angles. But what else happens in rectangles? Well, since it's a parallelogram, we know that it has congruent opposite sides. Let's see what happens when we draw a diagonal. Now this diagonal cuts the rectangle into two right triangles. Let's focus on the bottom one. Then we can draw in the other diagonal, which cuts into new triangles. If we look at still the two halves of the rectangle that are made by the new diagonal and look at the bottom one, we have another triangle. But at this point, since everything's overlapping, it's a little hard to see what's happening. So let's split these triangles off on their own. When we compare these triangles, you'll notice we have two sets of congruent sides. And then the congruent angles are the included angles. So these two triangles are congruent by side angle side, meaning that the corresponding parts of these congruent triangles are also congruent. So the diagonals in a rectangle are congruent. Now let's try using this. If I tell you that this is a rectangle and AC equals 42, how big is BD? Well, here's AC, that's one of the diagonals. BD is what we're looking for and that's the other diagonal. Since diagonals in a rectangle are congruent, that means that 42 is BD also. Let's try another one. If you know that CG is 17, now notice CG is not the entire diagonal, it's just from a corner to the center. That's 17. We need to know how big DG is, and that's from a different corner to the center. Now, you may already have an idea of how big DG is, but just to make sure we have valid geometric reasons for why DG is as big as you think it is, let's not forget that rectangles are parallelograms, so diagonals bisect each other. That means G is the midpoint of both diagonals. So if the CG side, the white side, is 17, then the AG side is also 17. So the entire diagonal AC is 34. But since it is a rectangle, the diagonals are congruent, so BD is also 34. And now that we know BD is 34, that's the diagonal, we know G is the midpoint of that diagonal, so DG is halfway across for 17. So to summarize properties of a rectangle, we do have some parallelogram properties still, the fact that opposite sides are congruent and the diagonals bisect each other. But then the new things on the right-hand side, all of the interior angles are congruent, they have 90 degrees, and the diagonals are congruent. Thank you for joining me for this talk about rectangles. I'll see you next time.